What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. We've got a really nice overcast day here in PA. So I thought it would be a great time, a great video to show you guys the differences in percentages of windshield tint, like 50% versus 35% windshield tint, because I think full windshield tint is becoming like the new normal, the new everything. And honestly, I've been driving around with full windshield tint for a little over a year now, and I absolutely love it. Um, my Volkswagen here behind me, I just have like the brow or the sunshade, if you will, 5% brow up top. And that used to be what like I've had like all my other vehicles done and that used to be like the cool thing to do but now it's all about the full windshield tint guys and I like it I know a lot of guys are gonna complain and say that it's uh, dangerous if you want I'm sure it is if you have night vision problems and if you're just like or a bad driver in general but for me I really like it first off it looks so much cooler than the brow it looks so much cleaner and I think honestly the uh, the UV protection that's a good excuse to have it too full UV protection versus not and uh, I, I just like the privacy note as well. It's so much more private. It feels so much better in the cockpit of your vehicle than just having the sun kind of glare right in. So like I said, right here behind me, the truck here has 35% windshield tint, 20% everywhere else. The car here behind me has 50% windshield tint and 20% everywhere else. And the Volkswagen, we're not gonna talk about it too much because like right now it does not have windshield tint, of course, and it just has the brown. I absolutely am going to get full windshield tint on the Volkswagen, but for right now I'm not just because it needs a new windshield. So I'm not gonna spend the money until I get a new windshield. And then at that point, we'll probably also be going this route so all right so either way like i said all three vehicles here like a this is this used to be the norm now i generally don't get brows this short i normally always get them at least below the mirror line so that way it looks clean but if you can tell or if you can't tell it's kind of hard with the reflection but the windshield's cracked everywhere the whole thing has chips it's just the windshield sucks so we got we have to get windshield like a new windshield at some point here soon then from there we'll probably be doing full tints um, but these are the two cars we're focusing on right now the Ford here this has 50% windshield tint and the Ram here has 35% windshield tint now I know this isn't going to be a beautiful perfect comparison because the two vehicles are sitting different heights the two vehicles have different pitches of the windows and honestly like just like the back window of the car is also pitched the back window of a truck is straight up and down so like this isn't a perfect comparison but I think it is a decent comparison nonetheless if I stand back like this you could kind of see so there, there's 35 and there's 50 the truck looks way darker and it's 15% darker which it you know so it is darker um, but honestly I don't think inside driving is really that bad both these vehicles are equipped with LED lights they are both both very bright and we will go for a drive here in a second right now the way the Sun and clouds are now and then we'll go for a drive later on tonight so you can see what it looks like night driving because honestly one of the big features that I like full windshield tint is the fact that it cuts all the road glare out from oncoming vehicles oncoming traffic so I kind of like it and feel like it's almost like a safety feature because I do wear glasses when I drive and uh, the oncoming traffic it would glare off my glasses and now it does not and like I said look how dang good that looks so real quick both these vehicles I think are somewhat of a fair comparison because they both have 20% side window tint and rear tint so uh, Volkswagen has 12% and so here's what I'm getting at the Ram here factory factory tint in the rear which is about 18 so we got 20 up front to match and here's the windshield it's kind of hard to see through but like 20% is not that dark like you could still see parts of the truck you can still see the shift knob you can still okay here's a good angle you could still see the center console you could see in this truck same thing with the car of course because it's also 20% you could actually see right through the car um, and I think because you got more light coming in through the windshield so you could actually see a lot clearer through the car than you can my truck but you can still see same thing steering wheel center console all that but if you like go over to the Volkswagen look how dark that is that's actually only 12 percent and 12 percent tint I, I do want to do a video here if you guys are interested 12 percent versus the 20 percent window tint because just for example the front windshield of that car ain't tinted at all except for the brow so there's a lot more light going in that car than there is these vehicles and you can't see through that 
really at all, which is kind of awesome. So you can see through these vehicles, but you could see less through this at 20%, more through this at 20% because the windshield is letting in more light than this one. I hope I didn't lose anybody at this point. So real quick, if we get in the Ford, for example, get in the Ford, for example, here she is. Like you could tell it's tinted if you look where the inspection stickers are cut out. All right, camera's not gonna focus, but you could see the difference here. But this is 50%. I could see through this. And 20% side window. So you can tell that the side's a little bit darker. Like I said, we will go for a drive momentarily. But then if you get in the truck, thank you, amp power steps. If you get in the truck, it doesn't look that much darker. It, it, it definitely feels a lot more comfortable then. Same thing, here's the inspection sticker. Camera's not gonna focus, but you can see where it's cut out. So you can see where the, you know, where the real windshield is. And 20% side windows, so you can still tell it's a little bit darker. But this is 35, I could still see through this fine. And I'm sure you guys can still also through the camera. So either way, we're gonna go for a drive now. Um, I'm gonna try to do like a screen by screen comparison so you could see exactly what it's like 35 versus 50 driving down the road. Then we're gonna do the same thing when it gets dark out later on tonight. I, I swear when I just like rehearsed a couple minutes ago, I swear I had a lot more to say about this stuff than I just you know went over right now. But either way, I don't really wanna make the video too long and boring. So I don't think there's that big of a difference. There is, like when I'm driving, there is a little bit more it does feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more cozy in the truck than there is the car, but still those two are way better than driving this thing where I have full glare. So uh, we're gonna go for a drive. All right guys, so side by side comparison, we got the Ford up top with the 50% windshield tint. We got the Ram on the bottom with 35% windshield tint. Now I did do the same exact drive literally simultaneously. So I took the Ford out, parked it, got the truck and went out in it. So these videos are not taking more than like five minutes apart. So the same shade, the same sun, the same overcast, the whole nine yards, same exact route. So as you could tell, finally seeing this stuff side by side, it really doesn't look that much different, I don't think. And I guess that's my opinion, whatnot. Like, I think looking at this footage here, looking at what you're watching right now, you can probably tell that the bottom, the 35%, is a little bit more, I guess, overcasted than what you get up top. Now, the biggest thing you could probably tell is how much bumpier the truck rides than the car. Um, but either way, it looks like you're looking out of a normal windshield, in my personal opinion. I don't really see any big issues here. Not getting off the exit, it's slightly, it's the same thing either way. And I did do the same drive going back, although I got nothing else to talk about in the daylight here. So uh, let's fast forward now to the nighttime shots. Okay, nighttime shots, it's way more drastic, of course. Same thing though, car up top with 50% windshield tint, truck on the bottom with 35% windshield tint. Now this is gonna be the biggest discrepancy and that is of course going to be headlights. Now both these vehicles are equipped with LED headlights, so that is nice, but I do not have the exact specs whether or not they're both the exact same lumens, the exact same whatever. But either way, this will give you a decent idea. Now, I have the camera held the same exact spot I had it during the daylight, which was like pretty much behind my head on like 0.5 zoom. And I was filming with an iPhone, which generally I don't. Now, I don't think it's this bad in real life. I, you know, obviously iPhones don't pick up light the best. They don't film it light the best. Go take your iPhone out at, you know, nine o'clock at night and try to take a picture of your best friend. It's gonna look kind of bad. So what you see here on camera, I don't think is exactly what I was seeing in real life. I will fast forward here in a second. I do hold the camera up next clips, like right up next to the windshield so you get a better representation and you can see a little bit more. But same thing, I don't think it looks that much worse, honestly. I think you can definitely tell that the lower screen here is definitely a lot darker, not as clear as what you got 50%. The 50% up top pretty much looks like a normal windshield. So here's the clip here. I got the phone held up like in the dash basically so you get a little bit better representation being at night but driving back here i i basically did the same exact speed so this is a really good representation look at the signs um look at all that stuff now i will say you can see like a glare on the iphone screen i guess if you will but like 
you don't really see that in daylight, but looking at everybody's headlights on the screen down below with the darker windshield tint, they definitely look more dull than what you see up top. And um, I, it would, it's, uh, of course it's going to, just because it is darker windshield tint. So um, I don't think it's that bad either way, like I said. So I uh, hope this video kind of helped with someone.